Today, we talked exclusively to a woman living in the home who says she didn't do anything wrong. Johnny Poonce on here with uh, what she had to say, Johnny. Well, we first reported this story on our 11 o'clock newscast last night, and our photographer was the only one on scene getting video of this raid. Authorities have since confirmed they served a drug-related search warrant at that home. A woman living there, though, denies anything illegal is going on. Our news camera were rolling as 33-year-old Vanessa Siciliano stood outside a house near Bermuda and Windmill, surrounded by police. Inside, a drug raid was happening. Her boyfriend, Hamilton He, was seen being carried away on a stretcher. Scared because I had a bunch of really, a lot of guns in my face and I didn't know why. Yeah. One day after the raid, Siciliano let us into the house she shares with He. U.S. Postal inspectors confirm that a drug-related investigation is underway. So they tossed the whole house. The whole house is destroyed. All authorities would say right now is that the case involves a distribution of controlled substance through the mail. Were you guys making anything that could be seen as, as being drugs? No. Well, illegal. Late Wednesday night, we saw officers in protective suits hauling out boxes of evidence from the house, along with what looked like a chemistry lab filled with used beakers and vials. Will Home experiment? Not? Yeah, he honestly he makes his his he makes his oatmeal in it in the room. He makes his own what? His oatmeal. He puts oatmeal in it and he makes it in the room. Siciliano says that she and her boyfriend buy and sell all kinds of items on the internet, including these game arcade machines sitting in her living room. But she says drugs were never on the list, and the couple is not doing anything against the law. But no drugs in your house. No. 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 Nothing illegal. No. 100% you're, you're innocent. Yeah. Well, Ceciliano went on to say that officers also seized the couple's pain medications from the house. Her boyfriend, Hamilton, remains in the hospital this afternoon due to an illness. So far, no one has been arrested. 